33 percent a year yeah, over year. Bad. Yeah, and the fact that the, even last year they were up 30 percent as far as their full year production. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's strong. I know we always talk about is like overall investor sentiment fading for the Chinese EV players. I don't think that 30 percent growth necessarily speaks to that, but obviously the whole market right now, or the whole EV market, has been grappling right. some evolving demand. But hey, up 1.8 percent on the session, so not too bad of a day for Neo shares. We will leave it there, though. Great breakdown. Analysis, projection, and evaluation. Neo is currently a significant player in the electric vehicle market, navigating through recent ups and downs. With notable developments in its stock price, investors are closely monitoring its trajectory. In this video, we'll dive into Neo's position in the EV market, explore recent fluctuations in its stock price, and analyze its potential trajectory and price target by 2030. So, where is Neo headed in the long run? First of all, it's important to note that NEO, along with several other electric vehicle stocks, recently faced a downgrade from Mizuo Securities analyst VJ Rakesh. Rakesh downgraded NEO to a neutral rating, with a price target of $5.50 per share, slightly above its current price. This comes amidst a broader trend of negative predictions from Wall Street analysts, driven by concerns about near-term EV demand and liquidity tightening. Rakesh also downgraded Tesla and Rivian but raised the price target on General Motors while maintaining a buy rating. Mizuho anticipates slower year-over-year -year growth for the EV market in 2024 compared to previous estimates, with institutional investment in NEO increasing during the fourth quarter. Despite the stock's decline throughout the year, some hedge funds still see growth potential in NEO, presenting a possible buying opportunity for investors willing to take on some risk. Speaking of investors, did you know that tracking institutional ownership is crucial for understanding a stock's dynamics? In the case of NEO, during the fourth quarter, 468.13 F filers disclosed a stake in the company, marking an increase of nine filers from the previous quarter. These institutional investors collectively own a total of 415.61 million shares, representing a 1.6% increase compared to Q3. CYVN Investments is the largest shareholder, holding 418.83 million shares. Meanwhile, hedge funds, a subset of institutional investors, displayed even more bullish behavior. Although the number of hedge funds disclosing a stake in NEO remained steady at 79 during Q4, the total shares owned surged by 30% to 59.85 million. Notable buyers during this period included Vulleridge Investment Management, HSBC, Point72, Millennium Management, and Jane Street, each significantly increasing their stake in NEO. Yeah, it, it's you look at their data, they're like the, in the top three when it comes to, to total sales here. So when you're looking at the Chinese EV makers, they're not that profitable to say the least. Even if you look at BYD, which really focuses on not only EVs, but also hybrids, uh, their margins are very, very low. I mean, you're kind of looking at the same type of ICE uh, type of margins where there could be between 4% to let's say eight and a half, nine percent 9%. So they have to churn out more vehicles or sell more vehicles in order to uh, be profitable here that's a little bit different than what we see from tesla one recent development regarding neo involves changes in its board of directors nicholas paul collins and eddie george scaff joined the board on february 7th 2024 while james gordon mitchell resigned in december the company received a 2.2 billion dollar equity investment from cyvn following a previous investment of 734.5 million dollars in july 2024 additionally Professor Yong Gangwon became an independent director in November 2023. Moving on, Neo made a significant move by entering the smartphone market with its Neo phone, targeting EV owners with features similar to the Google Pixel 2. However, the company faced setbacks as the EU initiated an investigation into subsidized Chinese EV companies, which negatively impacted Neo's stock, according to Ursula von der Leyen, president of the European Commission. On the operational front, NEO reported impressive delivery numbers, surpassing projections in the fourth quarter of 2023 and starting 2024 positively. The company aims to deliver between 31,000 to 33,000 units in the first quarter of 2024. Furthermore, NEO plans to expand its battery swap station network, targeting 1,000 new stations in 2024 after reaching a milestone of 30 million battery swaps in China. Expanding its global footprint, NEO is making strides in Europe, with battery swap stations already operational in Germany and Norway. The company aims to launch its cheaper brands, Firefly and Alps, in Europe by 2025. Despite challenges such as stalling EV sales in Europe due to economic factors, NEO remains focused on its global expansion strategy, aiming for over 4,000 battery swap stations worldwide by 2025. But before we move on, we just want to thank you for watching this far. 
So, what can we expect from NEO's stock price movement based on the current chart analysis and forecasts? The chart indicates that NEO is consolidating below its $8.50 support level, with bullish signals from indicators like RSI and MFI suggesting limited downside potential. However, the crucial level to watch is $7, which has served as strong support recently. A breakdown below $7 could spell trouble for the stock. Considering the financial performance, NEO saw a modest increase in vehicle sales revenue in the fourth quarter of 2023 but still trails Tesla in terms of profitability, with significant net losses reported. Analysts have mixed opinions on NEO's stock price, with some projecting a target of $22, while others are more cautious. Despite short-term challenges, bullish sentiments from analysts at firms like China Renaissance and Mizuho indicate optimism about NEO's long-term prospects. What about the future of NEO's stock price around 2025? Predicting long-term performance is challenging, especially with the uncertainty surrounding NEO's listing status in the U.S. However, considering the global shift towards electric vehicles, there's potential for NEO to thrive as EVs become mainstream. By 2025, NEO is expected to enhance its manufacturing capabilities and expand its presence in international markets. As countries like Europe and China phase out combustion engine vehicles, demand for EVs could soar, benefiting companies like NEO. According to projections from Long Forecast, NEO's stock price could reach around $55 by January 2025. While this forecast is optimistic, it highlights the potential growth opportunities for NEO in the EV market. Looking much further ahead, the outlook for NEO's stock appears promising, mainly due to the company's rapid growth trajectory. Despite current fluctuations, there's optimism that the stock will significantly surpass its current value in the long run. Considering historical performance, it's not out of the realm of possibility for the stock to triple in value by 2030, potentially reaching over $70. Tesla's success serves as a precedent, indicating such growth is feasible. Reviewing Neo's stock price history, it's been a roller coaster ride since the company went public in 2018. Initially, concerns about the company's viability led to a sharp decline in stock price, hitting an all-time low of $1.20. However, a turnaround began in November 2019, coinciding with the company's product launches, propelling the stock to surge by over 5,400% to reach an all-time high of $65. Currently, the stock sits around 65% below its peak. So, can NEO stock recover? With $6 billion in cash reserves and a recent burn rate of $600 million, NEO has a comfortable cushion for the next couple of years. However, plans to open over 1,000 battery swapping stations in the next year could increase expenses significantly. NEO's unique selling point lies in its battery swapping technology, but advancements in charging technology and batteries pose a challenge. Competing in China's increasingly crowded EV market may prove tough, especially as the company's USP loses value. Despite these challenges, NEO boasts an impressive range of vehicles and a strong brand presence. Yet, the long-term outlook remains uncertain. So, do you think NEO will overcome these hurdles and maintain its position in the EV market? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And that's it. Make sure to smash the like and subscribe buttons down below. Additionally, if you want to know about NEO's Q4 earnings report, just click this video right here. Thank you for tuning in, and stay tuned for more exciting content in the future.